Hi everybody, it's Lene. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. Well, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna take a break from cutting and pasting paper and I thought I would take a pumpkin and I've always dreamt of making a fairy house out of a pumpkin and I recorded that process and I just had the best time. Um, I just chose a small to medium sized pumpkin and kind of elongated and I wanted it to have a great stem on it and I had a great time carving it and then the fun part you guys decorating it like a little dollhouse it sits out under a tree in my yard and i can see it from my window and it glows at night and i just had the best time i'm also going to do a giveaway not the fairy pumpkin but i'm going to give away let me move away the pumpkin i'm going to give away um one of these little pumpkins that i made out of recycled materials from last year and um, yeah, I had one left and I thought I would share it with you guys. So if you like, comment and subscribe and then stick around to the end of the video, I'll give you details on how you can win this. It's not gonna get to you before Halloween, but you know, there's still fall left. So um, maybe you'd enjoy it for your Thanksgiving holidays. So thanks so much for joining me and here is my process for my fairy house pumpkin. So as I said, you need a nice pumpkin, find the spot on it that doesn't have a lot of markings on it. This one had a big crease on the back of it. And I gave it a wash, get all the dirt off of it. And now I'm gonna turn this over and we're gonna make an opening, not at the top per usual, we're going to do this at the bottom. And I was so sad that I couldn't find the old pumpkin carving tools that we used when our daughter was small. I, I, don't, I think I got rid of them. So I'm having to use this big serrated knife maybe not the best choice it seems a little big um, but i am just trying to cut sort of a hexagon shape in the bottom of the pumpkin and then i pulled that free and i was so happy to see just a load of pumpkin seeds come out of this we are a family that loves to save the pumpkin seeds and roast them in the oven with a little salt a little garlic salt and they are a little olive oil and they're just delicious so I'm just gonna clean the pumpkin out, get rid of any more of the seeds and those, uh, I don't know what the professional term is, but we just call them pumpkin guts. And I'm gonna get that all cleaned out and then you don't want any strings hanging down in your house. You wanna get it as clean as you possibly can. Then I took um, some uh, cutting dies, frankly, it's just like an arch cutting die and made some arches. This is gonna be a, the door shape and I'm actually just using a pokey tool instead of a pen or something because I found I could just sort of lightly carve the shape into the pumpkin and um, it showed up really nicely without having extra pen marks on it. And then I switched it up um, and got a smaller art shape from the same set. You could just draw these out too um, to make the little windows. Finally, I had to switch to a smaller knife. This is where those little pumpkin carving tools would be great because they bend so easily that it makes those curved shapes really easy to get around. So if you have any of those, don't throw them out. All right, and now I'm starting the little windows. So I scavenged some little twigs from the yard, use my little scissors to make holes to insert the little twigs in and then just kind of press them into shape. But then I had a little problem with that and I pressed too hard and it broke. So I'm gonna try this again on a different window. This time just pressing firmly and uh, tried to keep the pressure kind of towards the end of the stick worked better. So um, yeah, I was really happy with those cute little windows. So here's my door and my three little windows. Pretty happy with how that turned out. And then I'm just using some sheet moss. Now we're in Oregon, so moss just grows on the ground. It, gr it literally grows on cement. So I had pulled some of this off of a tree. They also sell it at any craft store. The Dollar Tree even has um, little green sheet moss that you can buy in a bag. 
And I'm just using that along the top of my pumpkin. I'm gonna glue it down, but I wanted to kind of give it a furry little roof. And that's how that turned out before I glued it in. And then I added a little hot glue to the bottom edge of the windows and used some Spanish moss that I also got at the Dollar Tree just to give it a little window box look, have something kind of growing along the bottom of the window. And then I took some little bits of a little plasticky fall plant that I had and just cut little bits of that off and glued that using the hot glue in the little window box. Finally, I added some little lace. I had some crocheted lace and cut those into about two inch strips. And then I used little thumbtacks and just pressed the thumbtacks through the lace and into the back of the side of the window. Here's my little gathering of supplies in my basket that I found in my yard. And then I found the perfect place to place my pumpkin. But first I had to add some sort of flat rocks because it was an uneven area and give my, my pumpkin house a little staging place. So I just piled those flat rocks up, put my pumpkin house on there. And I just added, you guys, these little like twig ladder and some lee, uh, some rocks. And I took the window or the doorway and I just kind of crammed it in there sideways so it looked like a door. And that little chair was my grandmother's and she gave that to me. I did not leave that outside. That's just for you guys. Piles of the little rocks, the little acorn caps, some leaves, some little mini pumpkins, things that I just gathered. My dog Oscar was very interested that we had this little fairy house in his yard. He was wondering what was going on with this and he thoroughly examined it until I kind of had to have him uh, go chase a ball somewhere. This house was so fun to make and for for the evening, I put some little battery operated uh, tea lights inside of it and it had such a nice glow and I just sort of let them on, stay on for, I think there were eight hour tea lights and then they shut themselves off automatically. So every evening they just kind of come on and you can see it glowing outside under the tree and it was just such a pleasure to do and so fun. All right, we're back. I hope you guys enjoyed my quick little video on my fairy house. I really enjoyed it. My husband came home from work and it was kind of glowing in the yard. He's like, what's with the pumpkin house? And he immediately knew what it was, so I was so happy. Um, so the neighbors have been commenting on it and just it's just charming and, and I've just had a lot of fun with it. So, you know, it could be a fun one to do over the week um, you know, before Halloween, um, even a night before Halloween project is really cute. Just sort of a not, not so scary pumpkin carving. So this pumpkin I made you guys out of recycled materials. I used this type of um, just oyster crackers, any kind of snack cracker box. Um, I was looking for something just a little bit taller. So these strips of paper, when they were cut and painted, I had some room to work with. And you guys, I always thought that they kind of looked a little leathery once they were painted, but I just used dollar store materials for this. Um, I used paint from the dollar store. Um, even the little jute twine is from the dollar store. Um, my video for this is linked at the end of this video and also down below in the description box. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we will choose one winner for this from the comments. As I said before, if you like, comment, and subscribe, then we're going to choose a winner. And then you have to watch next week's video to see who won. And then we'll send it to you if you claim your prize. So thanks so much for joining me today. I had a great time. All things pumpkin. And um, I hope that you guys do like, comment, and subscribe so that you get a chance to win this one. Um, and please do watch this video. Um, it was a fun process to make and it's a great one to work with for kids. And um, yeah, happy holidays. <laughs>